A busload of Valley students spent the day in the state capitol fighting for funding with their summer learning programs. And research shows that these children, especially those that are low income, suffer from a loss of learning over the summer. State education officials played to an appreciative audience. Welcome to National Summer Learning Day, our celebration at the state capitol. Many of you know that June 21st is the official first day of summer, and we are part of a national event that's celebrating how important it is to stay learning and stay active over the summer. Good morning, summer learners. It's a great morning, right? Yes. You're bright. You're ready. You ready for summer? Ready to learn? As we think what happens in the summer is really, really important. We've heard from many of our teachers and adults that said, you know what, for the first time, I really got to know my kids. I really got to know what they're interested in and what their challenges are. And that forces us to rethink too. We need to be intentional about making sure all kids have those opportunities to do more than just play the video game or watch TV, but to, be, uh, to learn that they can be good at something, to learn that they care about something. And that type of thing can really spark uh, for them why learning is important and why their education is important for their future. We need to maintain uh, an activity to see to it that kids are engaged and continuing to learn and um, participate in enrichment through the summer months. When we don't set our priorities for education, uh, when we don't set our priorities on after school programs, summer programs, it, we severely uh, disproportionately impact the poorer communities. So what would you be doing if you weren't doing this today? Being at home watching TV. Oh, I understand. You'd rather do this, right? <laughs> yeah. One thing to do or some things you could do academically is like reading or figuring out what's uh, going to be in your next class for the next year. 